Hi friends, it's Chrissy here. I have my festive uh, llama Christmas shirt on. It's cold and windy out, so it's a hat kind of day. But we are actually going to go explore a new booth today on our booth tour series. And it's actually going to be booth four. They're actually having 20% off the entire month of December, so that's kind of cool and exciting. They have a lot of great pieces of the past, a little bit of everything. So, um... You know, let's go check it out. They have a couple of be on the lookout items for that are easy flips if you do sell online. So come along with me and let's see what we can find while we explore this booth. So first of all, we're going to start here on the side. They have a lot of smalls, but I want to point out the turquoise belt buckle. I love turquoise. Um, I love silver and I love belt buckles. So this is all a big problem right now as I'm seeing this. Um, and on the back, I don't know if you can see the markings. Let me try to turn this around here. Mm, kind of hard to see, but let me see. What does it say? Um, nickel, silver, seven. No, T38 nickel, silver. So, and then the tag says it's Vintage Bell Trading Post, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, so I'm not sure the age or anything of it, but that is a very cool piece, $20. Um, I hope I forget about it because otherwise I have a feeling I probably will buy that. Um, Bush Beer uh, Coasters, $4 for, you know, probably about an inch stack of those. Those are fun. Um, we got this Firestone Cocktail Spoon Opener. What is this? Oh, I see. It says Firestone on it. So for people that do advertisements, you really can't see that very well. Vintage Tire Advertisement Cocktail and Spoon Opener. There you go. There's the opener part, I see. So that'd be a fun conversation piece to have at your bar for over the holidays. Um, Wonder Bread helps build strong bodies. That's interesting. Uh, $5. And then let's see. Roller Skate Key and Wrench. So... I don't know. I mean, kids nowadays probably have no idea what those are, but um, they're $3.50. Yeah, a piece. So just like talking about them reminds me of that uh, uh, I Roller Skated by Your House song. You know what I mean? I'd sing it for you, but you might turn the channel off. Anyway, a uh, set of six luggage and trunk keys. So people buy keys... Um, you know, for decorations, for making jewelry, or to actually use. So there's a couple keys. Here's a Use K Brand Clay Enamel Supply Co. A letter opener. I don't even know if people use letter openers anymore, but that's really cool. Twelve dollars. More keys. This is a really cool lock. Um, lock and key. Fifteen dollars. American Lock Co. So, like, the keys and these roller skate keys, I mean, these are all fun items that you could get for decorating or to use. He has a whole lot of different um, bottle or beer openers. This one's actually a fall stuff. I don't know if you guys can read it on there. Miller Lite, uh, Miller Brewing Company, Budweiser, uh, Drury's, Drury's, um, Extra Dry Beer, okay. Um, Riverside Motor Oil and an Anheuser-Busch Incorporated. So that's been bought out by MBEV. So this is probably going to be a good collectible for the, the beer people. Um, he has some tokens here, brass tokens with a G on them, a little dinner bell, a vintage Christmas wall hanging, only $7.50. So if you're into vintage Christmas, that's kind of cute. A lot of work went into that. He has a lot of uh, vintage record albums inside this really cool wood box, which he actually has several of. Borden's. I don't know. Is that cheese or ice cream maybe, I think? Um, some kind of dairy company and then a whiskey company. So the lettering on the whiskey one is very, very good. Probably because they took the product out, drank it, and it didn't get tossed around, but... Anyway, he does, this vendor does sell a lot of vinyl, um, so it's mostly rock and roll, um, that he does, but, you know, very, like, probably 60s era, so he does really good with that. This is a really cool piece. I don't know if you can see the whole thing here, guys. He has $200 on it, 
and it's a wood conga drum and stand. Um, let's see, I don't know if I can take this off. I kind of help you hear the sound of it. I mean, it looks really cool. Obviously, I don't know how to play it, but um, somebody that does, that would be cool. I need something to bang on it. Well, I passed up this little wooden ruler that they made into a star. I think it's made for your hands, though. Somebody's going to yell at me for doing that, I'm sure, but that's okay. It didn't hurt anything. No one was hurt in the process. Here's a Humbly Texan uh, cap gun with a holster. This is really nice leather, actually, that this is in. $80. Um, but we do actually sell a lot of cap guns here. But with the holster, that's that's really nice. Um, this here that I took off of the drum. Bait Canteen from Ohio. Yes, he has $25 on it. It's in really good shape, so obviously they didn't use it a lot. Um, the Age of the Innocence art print, $200. I mean, that's beautiful. The frame's beautiful. It's pretty good size. I'd say it's like two by three, maybe. So that is pretty good size. Um, there's the antique sign. It's $45. Um, several Longer Burger. He does a good job. Like this one's $10. He does sell a lot of Longer Burger baskets. This is a cool piece. Um, has the feathers hanging down. Very boho tribal, um, and it says authentic Native American dream catcher, um, Western ant signed. Oh, I think it said 1980s. I flipped it over here. 1980s in New Mexico. Oh yeah, and you can see it signed right down there. But that is that's beautiful. Um. Custom built Avista Manufacturing. This is glass, a thermometer. You can see it's uh, maybe 68 degrees in here right now. Pretty good, comfortable. We have this really nice home chest uh, brass washboard, if you can see that back there. And then we have this Western Stoneware Company six gallon crock. They have 120 on it. And then we got this is a unique crock with markings on it. Let's see what does this say. Rare screw on side Native American designs. It's an antique beehive brown glaze moonshine jug. It's $150. Uh, three gallons approximately. Yeah, that's that is very cool. Very cool uh, designs on it. So I'm sure it means something. They have this really nice wood plant stand back here that has a scale on it for $40. Some vintage tins. Um, another scale. So yeah. And then we have a pail with some old uh, license plates in it. License plates here go for like, I don't know, 7 to $10 for most of them. We have a World War II Navy uniform with patches back there for 10 bucks. Which, I mean, boy, it looks so little, but I guess it was all before processed food came into the picture. Let me put my hand on here and turn this camera, guy. Sorry about that. So then we also have this Korean War um, 8th un Army uniform. That looks small, too, but definitely wool. So if you're needing something to keep you warm, I think they're both wool. So, yeah, you'll definitely stay warm with that. This is a cute uh, Christmas vintage on the 12 days of Christmas. And that's only uh, $7. Um, they got a black shelf here. It says 40, but they got this wrist game. So a lot of times with the board, old board games, you make more money just selling the pieces of them. So that's something you may want to look into if you don't want to ship and mess with all that. They have a, an empty stag box, which stag's huge, $25. Some vintage bells. Um, another washboard back there, and this one's glass. So, 24 We used to not be able to keep those in stock, and now they seem like they go pretty, or they don't move as fast as they used to here. This is a 1931 to 1967 sports scrapbook, $100. 
and let's what's so special about it uh mainly st louis cardinal items see ebay prices to compare um so that's a really cool old picture i don't know it's hard to do this with one hand so i am not a sports fan like this so and probably most of these people were born or played before i was ever even thought of so it's kind of cool though if you're into that we have an exit light another washboard sorry guys this is a really cool Dairyland crate with the bottles um and it's 85 dollars. look how cute these are and the graphics on them, it looks like most of them are really Johnson's Dairy from Pennsylvania. They're, it's hard to see. Sorry about that. But they're really cute and they're small. And it says the ounces on it, but they are small. I guess that's the amount we're supposed to drink, not like the big old ones that we buy now. Vintage tin, made in Holland. Some more milk bottles, oil lamp, some uh, an old patch. That's cool. Some artwork, some tins. These old tins are always good. Pictures. This is actually a World War II Six Infantry Division photo. That's kind of cool. It shows cannons on there. So that kind of stuff's a good be on the lookout for. Dr. Seuss, some magazines, a carpenter's stainless tubing with data on it. Okay. Um, there's a sickle back there. A galvanized uh, watering can, which those always seem to do good. Some old tools. Now this is really cool. An RCA 45 record player with stand with some of the records go with it. So that's a really cool piece for 175 if I can get a whole picture of it there. Um, the back of a, looks like a high chair. And then a huge plane. Um, a music stand. Now this is really cool. This replica, oh, it's a replica 1730 sword made in Italy. That's really cute, cool. I don't know if you can see that, guys. And the detail on it's really cool on the sword part. Um, the old metal beer buckets. This is from 1983. So that people actually drink out of them. That that intrigues me. Um, the baby wear company letter opener and there is a 80 pound farm scale I'm glad they don't hang us on those to weigh us you know that would be bad here's a thing of vintage blown ornaments I don't know if they're mark claws or what they are but they're cute here's a 1847 Peter Watson studio framed art $12 that's kind of cute and then Smudge pot, it's in pretty good shape. The graphics are in pretty good shape. And a wood stirrup and that giant sword. We have a Coca-Cola. It's interesting, I can't really tell the material of this. A reusable case that says, I don't know, it don't feel like wax cardboard, but I don't know, it, it's interesting. Um, what do we have here? An eight millimeter film editor. So that's interesting. I don't remember seeing one of those. We got some dad's root beer bottles, a Beatrix Potter music box, which looks like in really good condition. They have these 1970 to 1975 baseball cards. Let's see, this is a toy doll iron hidden in there. We got some marbles, some old ashtrays, um, which those are good flips. Baseball cards are always good flips. So yeah, you can see just a little bit of everything. Some old playing cards and then some rulers. This really cool umbrella stand. That's really nice. Made out of maybe mahogany. And then some framed artwork there. And they got that store sign display board back here too. I didn't see. So anyway, that's pretty much... I'll go back out here and do a scan so you guys can see it all better. And everything is 20% off this month. So 
they have a good little variety and selection but it's all wonderful pieces of the past and that you can you know do a lot with them give them new life you know decorate with them use them you know whatever works but Anyway, I hope you enjoyed today's booth tour series with me of booth four inside my antique mall. And until next time, stay fabulous. Bye and Merry Christmas.